Welcome to uh, SolidWorks. When you actually launch SolidWorks, you should get something similar. File new. Part. So let's start drawing our first part. Um, here we've got a sketch. This is everything with 2D, two dimension, um, using line, arc, and circle. And feature is everything 3D. You need a sketch to have a feature. You cannot have a feature on your own. Uh, evaluate, it's more to measure, do other things. I'm going to hide it by right click, evaluate. This is the two most common one. So to start drawing, we decide on which plane. So I hover here, click sketch this one. And that opens an empty sketch. You see here the icon and here. Uh, then I can press L or click here, same thing, to start drawing my line. And I'll draw always from the center if you can. And I'll drop it here. L again to stop drawing. F to frame and uh, smart dimension to bridge. Click on it and now I'll go 90. Now I just realized that I'm in inches here. Uh, if you work in inches, you can go edit document and if you need more decimal, you can go like third. And in my case, I'm going to be working in centimeter. Uh, so I'll go same. And to reopen the sketch, click here, edit sketch. So now I can double click to change my smart dimension. And I'll type 90. So this time is 90 centimeter. Okay. F to frame. You can use the scroll on the mouse, depending where the cursor is to zoom. Uh, if you need to pan, it's shift with middle click. Uh, sorry. Control, not shift. Control and you press the scroll. That's how you can pan. So then I'll go L. This time I'll go vertical. L again, smart dimension. And here I can go 70. L again, here. There. You could also type the dimension here by selecting it. It's another way of doing it. The only thing with this is that it won't show up. With smart dimension, you can actually see it and change it quickly. Then on the bottom, I'll go 10. Here we go. And here I'll do 20 line. And uh, then here. I'll start drawing. And another way of measuring is to go from a point to another point. This is also valid. I can go forward. And now we can put the missing. Voila. Uh, don't worry too much on the location of those um, dimension because when we do drawing they'll be elsewhere so it doesn't really matter if they are not that long. To make this 3D we go feature and we do extrude. Extrude is like an elevation and here we can put the depth so maybe 20 and then I can say okay. So it's very important that you understand this then I can go middle click and drag to orbit. If I need to something to see something facing me, I select the face and I go Control Eight, Control and Number Eight. That means normal. Too. So once again, Control Eight. 
and if I want to do any change, the drawing is here. So I can go edit sketch, maybe control eight, and maybe I change my mind. I want this to be 20 now. So I could type. And if you exit the sketch here, we're back at three. If I want the depth now to be uh, thinner, I can go 10. Voila, I hope this is useful.